Hi everyone, welcome to my crazy crafty life. Today I have a really big Dollar Tree haul that consists of some Halloween and fall items that I think you're really gonna love. So let's jump into it. So first items that I found um, were these pumpkin silicone molds. And I was thinking these might be fun to fill with um, hot glue and pop them out and paint them because, um, as you can see, the design is really cute, but um, they might be really fun to play around with. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, I'm curious how this will work, so stay tuned on that. <laughs> um, the next thing I found were some cupcake picks and I found these acorn ones. I love these so much. You get 20 in this package and they are adorable. You, If you wanted to, you could probably add some details as well, but they're pretty plain, but I love them. Um, the next thing I found was this little um, skeleton guy. I don't remember ever seeing these. Um, this one lights up. Um, let's see. And I was trying to get it to light up in the store, but it wasn't. I, oh yeah, it works. <laughs> that's awful. Okay, that's bad. Wow, that's bad. Okay, shush you. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I figured the kids would probably enjoy it. The next item that I found was another silicone mold. This one's a Halloween one, and this one has the jack-o'-lantern, the skeleton, the ghost, and the bat. And I think these are super, super cute. Again, thought they were be would be fun to fill up with some hot glue and just pop them out and see if we can paint them and do something fun with them. Um, I found some cookie cutters in the fall section. Last week I had some from the Halloween section and I just got the leaves because I thought they were really cute. They had one with a turkey and some other stuff, but the leaves were definitely the ones that I liked the best. Um, I also got this ribbon from the Crafter Square. Um, it's the Halloween, you can tell it's got the little uh, spider web there and it's purple. Um, but I got just the buffalo check and I love this ribbon. I think it's beautiful and you get nine feet. Um, next I found some Day of the Dead items and I was very excited. Um, some of the things are repeats, but I found this big tray and it's plastic and well, they're calling it a small tray, but I think it's pretty big. You could fit, um, whatever you want on here, cupcakes, cookies, whatever. It's really cute. I love this. Um, and then I found some matching plates. They're plastic as well, um, but I just like the design. They're very colorful, very cute, um, very party-like. So I just got three of the same. I kind of have a stand that you can put plates on and, and like have food on them and stuff. So I just thought those were cool. Um, you could even make a tiered tray with them if you wanted to, but they'd all be the same size. Um, the next things I found I've been looking for, so I was very excited to find them, were the knitted pumpkins on the stakes. Or they're calling them picks, but they're they're just dowels, plain dowels. Um, I don't probably plan on using them this way. Um, there is a gray one. Where, um, yes, so there's a gray, a pink. This, it's not a gray. It's like a bluish gray, maybe. I don't. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really cute. And then the off-white or ivory color or and the orange, which is kind of like a um, burnt orange. It's not a like a bright orange, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Next I bought these, and I really just bought them for the strawberries. I'm planning to pluck these off and maybe make earrings or something for with those. So, and if I can save the earbuds as kind of like spares because my kids tend to break them a lot. <laughs> um, the next thing I found was 
this hex key set. Um, I love this set because it's got all of the different, they have a smaller set, but this is definitely the one that I like to use. And um, I had some for my bicycle, but they're the smaller set and I didn't realize it. So I got the bigger set for that. Um, the smaller set, I feel like it's not really useful because it doesn't have a lot of options. Um, and then I found this utility knife, which I think is definitely worth a dollar twenty-five or more, um, because of how big this is, and it comes with extra um, blades, <laughs> two extra blades. Yes, and I like this style. Plus, um, one of my daughters took mine, so I wanted to grab one that was. Well, this one looks like it's a lot nicer than the one I had, so works for me. Good trade. <laughs> now I'm dropping things. Oh, all right. And next I found a t-shirt, which is a extra large ladies tee, which is probably not going to fit very well, but I am trying, trying to lose some weight. Um, so I figure this is a cute t-shirt and it's really soft. It's American apparel. I love these shirts. So anytime I see them, I want to get them. I just hate that they almost never have my size, um, but the extra large, hopefully um, in a few months, uh, I'll get there. <laughs> uh, the next day of the dead sign, I found one of these wood um, signs. They call them tabletop design signs, tabletop signs. Oh my goodness. And I just love the design on here. It's so, so cute. I love it. I love how festive it looks. Um, we don't we don't really celebrate it, but I do love decorating with the sugar sickles for Halloween because it's just fun. The next item I found is a decor item that I've been searching high and low for and have not been able to find ever anywhere. So I was very excited. I finally found them. Um, and it's the little ladders that say love and home. And yeah, that, that one goes that way. Okay. <laughs> and they have these little like eucalyptus. Um, it's cute, but you can see the staples. I feel like this is, they could have done this a little bit better, added some florals or something else with that. Um, but I will probably play around or replace that all together. But I just think these are beautiful. Um, I have been really searching. I've been hoping to find them and I hadn't found them. And I finally did. Yay. <laughs> they're big. They're kind of too big for a tear tray, but maybe um, like in front of it or something leaned onto it or something like that. Um, if you have an area that is showing that you that's like maybe not sh decorated fully and you want to just add something there, that would be cute. Um, but or on a mantle, which is what I was thinking. But I thought those were really cute and I love them. So. The next thing I got was is not new, but I've um, they've had it for a long time, but it does work really well. So I wanted to show you it was one of these. Um, I use it to carry all of the bags, all of the Dollar Tree bags, and it works great. Um, the, the trick is remembering to bring it with you, <laughs> which is why I bought a new one, because I'm like, I always forget. So I'm going to try to remember to put this. Actually, I'm going to hook it to my keys. So hopefully I don't forget it next time. There done. <laughs> um, another item that has come back and I'm very excited and happy that they brought it back was these pumpkins. I love the white ones. They did have orange ones. Um, they did improve on this. They actually added this hanger and it has the letter so you can see which one. So you don't have to like tear down all of the pumpkins to find the one that you want. Um, the only bad thing about this is that it doesn't have the twine, but that, I mean, that's an easy solve. Um, and there is a pull here. So, I mean, the only negative thing I would say about this is that um, if you don't want to hang it, you'd have to fill in the hole. Um, but yeah, I, I love these. I think they're beautiful. They're really well done. I love them. So I'm very happy they brought them back. And I got mine. <laughs> Um, another thing I bought was this backpack and these, um, like, what do they call them? Drawstring, drawstring 
bag. And my kids use them all the time and they're always asking me, mom, do you have one? So I like to keep extras, um, but also thought like to separate things like shoes or whatever, extra clothes. Um, this is a good bag just to have around for that purpose. Um, the next thing that I picked up were um, these pet, um, what do you call them? They're called dog toys. But this is why I say to look in every single aisle. Um, I'm not the only YouTuber that says this, I know that for a fact, but you have to look everywhere, high and low, because you never know what you're gonna find, especially in the pet aisle. These do not look like they're dog toys to me. They look like um, curtain tie backs. And I love the color, I think it's cute. Um, these would go very well in my dining room. So yeah, because I have the blue and white plates, um, the floral plates on my wall. So these would go very, very well with that. So very excited I found that. Next I found some rub-on transfers and I, I can't tell you how impressed I am with these rub-on transfers. They're amazing. If you haven't checked them out, you need to. Um, this one has like these dandelions and they're gorgeous. I love the gold tone. I love the heart shape ones. I mean, they have all different ones and then flowers. So, so cute. Um, and then these pumpkin ones are amazing. Look how beautiful these are. Oh, they're gorgeous. I love those. Um, the next thing that I found were these non-slip rug underlays is what they call them. I like to use these for all my rugs. Um, you can use more than one together if you have a longer rug. You can cut them down if you have a smaller rug. Uh, but they work for like bathroom rugs. That's really like the size about that you get. And that's what I got them for. So got one for the sink area, one for the toilet, and one for the tub and I bought new rugs somewhere in here somewhere in this mess I have some to show you um, I also found this petroleum jelly um, with cocoa butter and I wanted to try it um, I've never tried this and I was curious how it would work and if I would like it so I picked that up um, in the crafter square section I found something really interesting and I've never seen this but I thought it was interesting enough to buy. And it is called a pool noodle knife. I thought it was a cake knife at first and I was like, why is it in the craft section? And then when I read it, I was like, oh. So I have no idea how this will work, if it will work, but it was interesting enough and for $1.25, I was willing to give it a shot. <laughs> um, the next thing I picked up was some brown paint nothing exciting it's just their regular acrylic um, by rich art and steve brown i find their brown paint pretty watered down but um the reason why i wanted this was to do like a faux stain um like i said last week i have some projects in the works so i got some of that for those projects um and then the next thing i got were these binder clips and this is for organization i'm going to clip them some post-it notes to a box and write down what's in each box because i really desperately need to organize some things so that's what i got those for next i found some of the chalkboard leads and i decided to get them because i think they're so cute and you get they have three different kinds which i love because you could actually i thought there was a fourth is there? I guess where there was. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll press pause if there is a fourth. I don't know. Maybe there's only three. But I thought these were so cute. And I definitely wanted to make some things for fall. Um, the next thing I found were these little monogram leaves is what they're calling them. And I got enough to write fall but I couldn't find an F so I got a P and I'm gonna try to cover that somehow if I can't make it work 
then I may have to paint it and do um, Cricut, uh, maybe on the other side if it comes to that, or if I'm able to find the F, but I just didn't want to be without it because I already bought all of the other letters. And I love how there's two different kinds. So you have a variety. Um, yeah, so that was all intentional. And then I also found AD, which I think these are beautiful. Like you could use these as curtain tie backs as well. How cute would that be? So yeah, I thought that was cute. Um, let's see. The next thing I got super boring are the post-it notes for the organization. So those are going to go with the binder clips that I picked up. So yeah, and you get 250. What I noticed, like this is all pastel colors, what I noticed though, that they had some with uh, lower counts. So just be mindful that um, some of them are 250 and then there was like 150 or something like that. So I figured to get the one with the most because that way it's the same price. So getting more bang for my buck. Um, the next thing that I picked up was this crystal ball readings and it has this open. It doesn't have a closed sign though, unfortunately. It's plain on the back. Um, but last year they had the long signs with the, um, what was it called? Like the fortune teller stuff. And it goes so well with the sign because the writing is black and the background is white. And I thought those two signs with this in the center would be wonderful. I just have to figure out where, <laughs> where to set that up. But I thought these were amazing. So it's a great find and it's already comes with the hanger. It's all set to go. I found more and this is fall decor, but it's just the plain wood beads. And I love these. I think these are amazing. I, I hope that they still keep putting them out because I will get them every time I see them. <laughs> um, then a not new thing, they've brought it back, is the straw bale of hay. And um, I'm gonna probably use this in a tiered tray somewhere. So I got that. Um, these are not new, but I got some of these crosses because I think they're beautiful. And I got a rose gold cross and I was thinking I might want to put these, incorporate these one or both with that. So I picked that up um, and these light up, they light up, but I'm not even sure I'm going to use that. So, um, the other bales of hay that they have, mini hay, bale, hell, oh, mini hay bales and also got these for cute trays. So those are fun. I'm just worried about them making a huge mess, but we'll see. Um, and then I found these cupcake kits. You get the little cupcake wrapper with the truck and they had other ones. And then they have these little signs, which I thought were adorable. Pick your own pumpkins and grateful and blessed. And they had other ones of like other things on them. Avalanche. Oh, I should not have done that. I really shouldn't have. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Next thing I got was this cute little ghost with the little trick or treat bag that got me so bad. And I think I don't know if this makes noise. Okay. So, yes, it's motion activated. Okay, shush. <laughs> yeah, these are loud. All right, the next thing that I found were these pumpkins. And again, I got ones to say fall, but I couldn't find the F. I don't know why I was having such a hard time with that letter, um, but I got enough to say fall. And I also got one with the D, which last year I could not for the life of me find. So I totally gave up. See, there's the A. Um, there's another L. There is. 
Yeah, it says this is the P, so then I'll probably try to change it to an F somehow. We'll see how good I am. <laughs> Not sure how good I am. Sometimes my ideas are bigger than myself, but we'll see. Um, and then I found the D. So this is the one I could not, for the life of me, find. I think I found probably a bunch of other letters, but not the D. But I did this time, so I was very happy because I love this split color. With the white, it's beautiful. Next, I got some floor mats to go with those underlays. Um, these are just for the bathroom. Nothing special. I figured I'd give them a try. I'd never tried these. Um, the ones I have are looking pretty dingy. Um, they were expensive, but I figured until I decide what I want to do, if I want to redo the whole bathroom theme, you know, that whole thing. I'm not sure yet. I haven't got to that point. So I figured for now those work and they're not dingy. All right. I got more rub-on transfers. These are so beautiful. Look at this. Oh, these are so pretty. So, so pretty. And then I found this one, which is very farmhouse. And there's a pumpkin. So it makes me think that this is new, but I'm not sure. Um, and then I found this one, which I love the borders on here. I kind of wish they had more than one because this would make a gorgeous border. And I am actually obsessed with this one right here. So they do have have it two times. They have most of them two times. So at least there's that. But um, yeah, I kind of wish I had found more because those are really cool. Um, the next thing that I found was this little magnet. It says, be kind. And I thought it was cute. So... Who can turn down a cute magnet? Not me. <laughs> All right. Um, the next paint item I found was this. This one definitely looks new. It's called Rose Quartz, and I love that shade. I thought it was so beautiful. So I picked it up to try. Um, I found some Halloween cupcake picks. And these are little skulls. Look at the little eyes. I love them. You could even glue Google eyes on there if you wanted to. Um, and then I found the little jack-o-lantern, which I think is adorable. Um, and then I found the bats, and you get 20 in here. So you could cut these out. Oh my gosh, these are so I love the bats. Oh my gosh. And then I found these cupcake toppers. Which I don't know why they're different than the cupcake picks because those are the picks are longer. I don't know, but they have this one with the little. These are kind of like uh, cardstock material, but I figured if you're doing like a tiered tray or something, these might be really cute. They got the scarecrow. Jeez, camera focus. Then you have the that one with the little wagon i think that's cute oh oh my gosh he's cute look at him he's the only character though aside from the scarecrow and the tractor but why is the tractor they're all like the same size so scale wise these don't work together because this guy is way bigger than the scarecrow <laughs> but that's okay those are cute green pumpkin I also have a green pumpkin. I don't know if I showed that one, but I love these. These are amazing. Lots of uses for these. And you could probably take them off the picks if you don't want them on there. Did I show? Yeah, I showed that one. Sorry, everything is everywhere. Okay. Okay, down in the home stretch. Promise. Um, so the next thing I found was this super cute um, Day of the Dead garland, and I thought it was adorable. 
Um, yeah, so I thought that was cute. Aren't those, oh my gosh, those are cute. You could deconstruct this and use them for something else, but I thought they were adorable, so. I do have a garland from Walmart. Maybe I can incorporate this with it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then I found a couple craft kits, which I thought were stinking cute. And they're felt finger puppet kits. And this one has the monster, well, Frankenstein, and then the witch, Dracula, and the mummy. I think those are really cute. And then, and they also have regular hand puppets. I didn't get those though. And then I got these because I figured these would be cute on a tear tray. Somehow you have the skeleton, the cat, the ghost, the bat, and the little monster. And I think these are adorable. I am not sure why there's a red, and that must be a flower on the skull. So it's kind of like a day of the dead kind of thing. That's really cute. I love these. Well, that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like and comment down below. Let me know what you enjoyed and what you'll be looking out for. Um, if you're new, please consider subscribing. I could really use all of the subscribers I can get right now. I am trying to reach a thousand by the end of the year. So if you'd help me out, I really appreciate it. I love and appreciate each and every one of you and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It was certainly surprising some of the things that I found. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to comment and like down below. Um, why do I always screw this up? <laughs>